Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my update for my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. So I have all five of my palettes stacked up here and I'm going to go through each of these, talk about what is rolling out and what is staying in. But before we jump into that, I just want to go over my rules again. So the way I can roll a shade out is one, to hit pan on it, that is my main goal, but I know that a lot of the shades in my collection are not ones I'm going to be able to hit pan on anytime soon, and some of them aren't ones I really want to focus on for that long. So I have two other ways to roll shades out, and those are to use a shadow 10 or more times, or have it in the project for two or more months, and I will say that I use that two month mark quite often. It's the most often used to roll shades out within my project, but this just helps me cycle through my collection a little bit more and just helps me get some more use on shades I might not reach for otherwise. Alright, so I'm going to go through these in the order that I have rolled them in. So the first one comes from my I Heart Revolution and Disney Sleeping Beauty palette and it is the shade Wish. So Wish is this really cute light blue shimmer at the bottom and I reached for this one twice this past month for a total of five uses within this project. This one has been in for two months so I am going to be rolling it out just because I know I am not anywhere close to pan. It does look at, like it is starting to form a small dip right at the top there so I am super happy about that. I'm definitely showing more progress now than when I first rolled it in and that is definitely my goal with this project is even if I'm not hitting pan, I want to just show progress on my shades and use them a few times within this project. So I definitely did that with this shade. It was super nice to use. I'm not someone who reaches for blues on a daily basis, but this one was super nice. I feel like I was able to incorporate it in some everyday looks. It's a little bit more on the subtle side and with it being this light of a blue, I was able to kind of blend it in with some more neutral shades. So it didn't really overpower the look, but just kind of blended in to create some really nice everyday looks. So I was super happy to have this one in and reach into this palette as a whole a little bit as well, but I am ready to roll it out. So my next palette up is my Nomad Royal Europe palette and I had the very first shade from this palette. So that is this yellowy kind of mac and cheese yellow orange matte shade in the corner and I used this one three times this past month and it has only been in for the one month. So this one will be staying in and I'm super excited. This was a fun one to reach for and play around with a little bit this past month. I feel like I finally got a more neutral color story, which was super nice. I do love color, but I feel felt like I had been reaching for a lot of it within this project. So having a more neutral shade was super nice. I feel like I kind of and blurring the edges of that embossing in this shade a little bit so I feel like I can tell that it is being used which is super nice and hopefully I can get a couple more uses on it next month. This is a really nice shade to reach for but it is a little bit more on the yellowy warm tone side so it's not one I'm reaching for every day unless I am going for a more yellowy toned look which I was able to do a few times and I feel like the looks I created with this one were super pretty. Next palette up is my Profusion Mixed Metals Peach palette and from this one I had the shade Ecstatic. So Ecstatic is this kind of corally pink sequin matte shade. I reached for this one three times. And again, this one has only been in for one month, so it will be staying in as well. I do enjoy this shade. It's not my favorite to use 
and to reach for this palette as a whole isn't really a favorite of mine anymore in my collection. I still do like it. It still has a time and a place within my collection and there are days when I'm definitely drawn to using this. But as a whole, this is a palette that I'm not reaching for a ton. With that said, rolling this shade into this project was a really good opportunity to get a few good uses on this palette and for that I am super grateful. I created some really pretty looks with this and I brought this with me on vacation. I took a trip for about a week um, this past month and I did bring this one with me. I don't wear a ton of makeup when I'm on vacation but it was nice to have this one to reach for and I did get a couple uses on it that way. I don't take pictures of all of my looks and while I was on vacation I didn't take any pictures so I think there might only be one look with this palette that I actually have to share with you all but I did reach for it a couple more times and I am happy it's going to be staying in. Hopefully I can get a few more good uses on this palette. Alright, next palette up is my ColourPop in Disney It's a Princess Thing palette and from here I have the shade Enchanted Rose. So Enchanted Rose is this bottom corner shimmer here and I am so happy with the progress that this shade is showing. I did use it five times this past month and it will be staying in since it was only in for the one month and I feel like I am getting quite a nice dip on this shade. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan on it within this next month. I know I'm definitely getting closer, but these shades are deeper than I anticipate every time, so I don't think I'm actually super close to pan, but I'm definitely getting closer, which is super nice, and I have had so much fun using this shade. This was definitely my favorite from the past month. I absolutely love this palette, and that shade is a super easy one for me to reach for. I loved using it all over the lid in that outer corner of my lid, just creating some nice more pink toned looks this past month with it. So it was super fun to play with and I'm so excited it's going to be staying in and I will be able to get some more use on it. And our last palette up is the Kylove Rococo palette and I have the shade Allegory. So Allegory is this matte orangish shade over here and I used this one twice this past month and again this was only in for one month so it will be staying in which I'm very happy about. I really would have liked to get to more than two uses this past month but I just wasn't super reaching for the shade. Orange is not a favorite color of eyeshadow for me but there are definitely exceptions to that and this is one of them. This is an orange that I do really enjoy using. I just didn't really reach for it a ton this past month for whatever reason, but I know it is one that I do enjoy. I feel like in some cases this can look a little more pink toned on the eyes and I feel like that might be kind of what I like about it. It's not just a true orange shade. I feel like it has a little bit of different undertones depending on what you pair it with. So. This is definitely one I am excited to continue to reach for in the next month and hopefully get more than two uses on it. So super happy this one is going to be staying in as well. So that does conclude the five shades that I had in for this past update. And before I roll in the shade to replace Wish, I'm going to go over my Expand the Pan project. So for those of you who don't know, my Expand the Pan project is when I roll in a shade from my collection that already has pan and my goal is to use it five times. I like to do this because I feel like once I hit pan on a shade, I tend to kind of put it away and neglect it, opting more to reach for shades that don't have pan so I can get more progress on those ones. And that's not really something I want to do. I would like to continue to use the shades within my collection even after hitting pan on them. So I roll in just one shade each update and my goal is to use it five times. This past month I was working from my ABH Modern Renaissance palette on the shade Primavera. So 
So I did end up reaching for this one the five times, so this one will be rolling out, which I'm super excited about. I feel like you can't really see much visible progress on this. I feel like the way I originally hit pan, it just kind of domed into the pan, so there wasn't really much progress to be shown, I don't feel like. I kind of just wore away the edges of where I have that pan, but I did reach for it the five times, and... I am so happy that this one got rolled in. This is one of my favorite palettes and it was super nice to be able to reach for the palette as a whole, reach for some of the other shades on top of reaching for Primavera. So this one is going to be rolling out but I did have such a fun time playing with it. Alright so I'm going to be rolling in one shade from my whole collection for Pan Those Eyeshadows and then I will roll in my Expand the Pan shade. So I have my Pretty Random app set from 1 to 1081. This does include every shade within my collection. So if I get a shade that has pan on it or has already been in this project, I will re-roll. I will also most likely re-roll if I get a shade from a palette that is currently in or just rolled out. So 133 comes from my Wet n Wild and Pac-Man Game Over palette and it is shade number 9. So I will go grab that one in a second but first we're going to roll in my Expand the Pan shade. So now I have my Pretty Random app set from 1 to 81 and I will just re-roll if I get a shade that I've already rolled into this project. So the first shade on my spreadsheet comes from my Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette and it is the second shade in that palette. So I'm going to go grab both of our new shades and be right back to show you. Alright, going to show my Expand the Pan first. So this is my Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette and the shade that got rolled in is shade number 2 which is this just kind of off-white matte shade. So as you can see, this already has a very significant pan on it, and this palette has also been very well loved. I am still working to hit pan in the final shade here, so I think this will give me a good opportunity to work towards that goal as well as use this second shade five times. So very happy this one is rolling in, and hopefully I can make some good progress. And then we rolled in another Wet n Wild palette. This one is for Pan Those Eyeshadows. So this is my Pac-Man palette. Absolutely love the packaging and theming of this one. So last year I did roll this one into the project and I ended up hitting Pan on it. And for this update we are rolling in the ninth shade, which is this white shimmer. This one is going to hurt me a little bit to use just because I do really love the little ghost imprints within these shades. This one isn't as big of a deal. I feel like it's not as defined as some of the other ones. If I had rolled in one of these other shades, I probably would not have used it that much just because I have this thing where I don't want to mess up the little imprints, but... Hopefully I can get some good use on this white shade. I like to use that one for my inner corner, so... I think I will be able to reach for that one and hopefully get some good use on it and hopefully I will talk myself into showing some progress on it. So those are the five palettes that I have in for this next update. I'm super excited. We are still sticking war with a neutral color story, which I am very excited about. I will be able to get back into color soon, but I do like having some staple neutral shades in this project. So I will insert a picture of the color story so you all can see. But yeah, I am very excited about this round of shades. I know four of them are staying in from last update, but I was really excited when those ones rolled in. So just a lot of excitement with these shades. I feel like there's not really a shade in here that I dislike, so... Really happy to continue working on these and continue or start working on my five uses for this palette. So give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And with all of that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye!